Hey guys, TMZ here. I'm just going to tell you why I did not do my live stream today like was planned. It's because of this little baby gold fence right here. Yeah, my brother's cat walked up with it in its mouth. And it's no, that cat's known for killing birds. So I shooed the cat away. And I took a picked up the bird because I didn't want the cat was trying to come back and get it. I didn't want it to get it. My dog Kiki came over and gave it kisses, which was pretty sweet, I guess. Um, then we, me, my, me, my mom, and my little sister got in a car, went an hour and a half drive to a bird rehabilitation center. The bird was in a box that my brother made for it, but it didn't like being in there and it was, it would, uh, it would just go to the corner and try to fly out and would cry. Oh, when it chirps, its whole body jer jerks back. Like in movies, when you see people use a super strong weapon, their whole body flies back. It's kind of like it, 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 that with this bird. But when I picked it up, it was just fine. So, I didn't like the box, but it likes being my hands. But the reason we have the box is so I don't have to carry it so it won't poop on my hands. But, I carried it anyway because the bird didn't like being in the box, and it pooped on my hands. The bird also, it, it, see, it fell asleep on the way. Sometimes it would look around curiously, but when it fell asleep, it started snoring. Which, the noise it made was pretty funny. Here, I'll show you here. But yeah, I think it's kind of funny how the, the little bird is snoring. But uh, yeah, we brought it to the rehabilitation center. Um, they had no broken bones. I did notice this on the, on, like as soon as I picked up the bird, that it is missing a toe on a, I believe its right foot in its front, and the cat did not pull it off. I think it was born that way because. It didn't look like there was no blood. It didn't look like it was just cut off. It literally looked like it was just the, even the bone in. The, it, didn't, it looked like it was just completely lacking that uh, toe ever since it was born. So I don't think Walter the cat had anything to do with that. But the lady there was pretty upset because um, the cat did rip out one single feather on the bird's wing which yeah I, I guess that's a little concerning but also the fact that this cat is known for killing birds and you're concerned that it's missing a single feather on the wing you know that's not this you know it's good to be concerned for the bird but also I'm just thankful it's alive but yeah we went we left and I hope the bird is doing all right I think I named it Smeg which is a combination between Shemp, the, you know, the guy from the Three Stooges, and Egg. I was going to name it Mustard because it chest, its chest looked mustard colored, but my sister said that sounds disgusting. So I said, how about Smeg, sarcastically, and she said that's a good name. I wasn't actually planning to name it by that, but I guess I did. <laughs> so ho hopefully, I'm probably actually not going to call it that, but I think that's pretty funny. Um, but I hope I'll see that bird return one day, little goldfinch, and I'll know because it'll be missing a toe on its right foot. Okay. Oh yeah, and when I got back after dropping off that bird, it was an hour 30 minutes there, hour 30 minutes back. So when I got back, it was 9. I'm like, yeah, there's no way I'm doing that live stream today. But yeah, that's the story. Of the little gold finch that I saved from my cat. TMG out. Bye.